All right, okay, the emotions of faith. Well, today we're going to talk about a man whose emotions... <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to be honest. Before I tell you who he is, I want to cut his hair off myself. I'm so... Every time I read that story, I get so mad at Samson. I'm like, are you okay? I mean, from your birth, you know, your parents were old. They had you. You're a blessing to them. And they, they, they an angel told them not to cut your hair. I mean, you have were called. We all are called, by the way. But you were so called, okay? And you did great. You did all these feats and whatever. And then you met Delilah. I mean, come on, man. I know it wasn't that good. It couldn't have been that good. Why were you all emotional about Delilah? It was called that gone lust. That's what it was. That emotion was lust driving you crazy. It drove you to your death, didn't it? It drove you to your defeat. I just want to just beat you. But if you haven't know, if you don't know the story, go read it. I'm not going to tell you. It's a whole story. In a nutshell, this is what happened. Samson kept uh, falling for Delilah's lies. She was just just really getting some money. You know, she she turned him over to the uh, the army and she cut his hair. His hair was his strength. He cut his hair. And then they took him and gouged out his eyes. I mean, this is sad. Because it did not have to be like this. But anyway. And so, but God's purpose is going to be carried out. I'm telling you, because he was born to defeat the armies. That's what he was born for. That's what he was anointed to do. And that they said at the end, because he, they took him into a coliseum and he, you know, his hair had grown back. He couldn't see. So he asked somebody to place him between the columns. He pushed the columns. That's how strong he was. And the whole Colosseum came down. Of course, it killed him, but also all of those people as well. And so God had his thing. God was going to see them defeated, and they were defeated, period. And he used Samson, even though he had let his emotions of lust carry him down the wrong path. So what's the lesson? Okay. First of all, I'm going to say, God is going to have the last word, period. Devil, come come throw it. Throw lust, throw envy, throw whatever, sin, so throw this, throw that. And even though many times, we, in fact, we all do, go down the road, okay, God is going to have his purpose is fulfilled. If it's not you, it'll be somebody else. He's going to have it fulfilled. His word is not going to fall to the ground and be wrong. All right? So, but in this instance, we're talking about the emotion of lust. Getting the best of Samson, but he became faithful in the end. He still got himself together and used his strength the strength that God had given him at his birth to destroy that nation. All right. See ya. Oh, shucks. <laughs>